we are looking at another required practical. We're going to be looking at investigating variables affecting temperature changes in solutions. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to investigate which metal produces the highest temperature change with hydrochloric acid. So I'm going to go through my equipment first of all. So we've got some hydrochloric acid. I've got two different types of metals here. I've got a 250ml beaker, polystyrene cup, some cotton wool. I'm going to use a digital thermometer just because it's a little bit more precise. And I should have a measuring cylinder, but because we're working in isolation, we're going to have to estimate. Okay. So firstly, um, because we're going to change the type of metal, these become my independent variable. So these are the things that I'm going to change within this investigation. My dependent variable, the thing I'm going to measure, is going to be the highest temperature change. And my control variables. I've got some scales so I can ensure that the mass of my metal is the same. I should also ensure that the surface area of the metal is the same. The volume of hydrochloric acid I use is the same, the concentration of hydrochloric acid and the equipment in general. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pop into my beaker some cotton wool and place my polystyrene cup inside. The reason for that is um, as this um, investigation happens, it's an exothermic reaction. So what that means is heat energy is transferred from the chemicals to the surroundings and I want to be measuring that temperature change and I'm trying to insulate my practical as much as possible. So the polystyrene cup is an insulator and the cotton wool just prevents some of that heat transfer. So I'm going to measure out 50 ml of hydrochloric acid and I'm going to have to pretend that I've done that using a measuring cylinder. And I'm going to get my digital thermometer ready and I want it in degrees C. So you can see it says 19.1 degrees centigrade. And I'm going to start with some magnesium ribbon that I've previously weighed out. And we're going to put that in. And we're going to watch the thermometer. Now if you listen really, really carefully, you can hear some sizzling. And that suggests that a gas is being given off. And for those of you out there, magnesium plus hydrochloric acid. Magnesium chloride plus hydrogen. So it's hydrogen gas we can hear there. So what we're looking for on the thermometer is the highest temperature change. So I wait until that temperature to stop rising. And it stopped. I'm going to pretend it stopped around now. So I'm just going to put that to one side and I'm going to record in my table the temperature was 19.1 to start with and rose to 25.7 and I would need to work out my difference and to do that I would do the highest take the lowest value. Now to reduce uncertainty in my results I would need to repeat this at least three times okay that would reduce the chance of random errors and ensure we've got some data that is a little bit more reliable okay so I would repeat this at least three times I would then want to repeat the practical using a different metal so I would change my solution and I would start again with 50 ml of hydrochloric acid and the same mass but of a different metal okay and I would then repeat that metal three times at the end we would want to calculate a mean and the mean you do that by adding up your data and dividing by how many times the experiment took place so two little things we need to look at let's pretend that for metal B my temperature rise was 7.1 6.2 and 7.2 degrees. We can see there's quite a variation there in my data. Experiment number two is much lower than my other two volumes. We'd probably say that that's an anomaly. And particularly if we're doing higher paper, we were calculating a mean, we would not use this one. This data is not precise. 
The reason for that is the results are not close together. Now, if I repeated this all again, I would want to see the same type of data and that would mean my results are reproducible, okay? So that is investigating temperature changes in reactions. Five questions for you to have a go at. Why is the reaction done in a polystyrene cup? Number two, what is a dependent variable? Number three, what is an exothermic reaction? Number four, what other variables do you think I could investigate? So in this one, I investigated the type of metal. Can you think of some other ideas? So difficult question number four. Number five, tell me two control variables in, the, in this investigation. And bonus question, what's the difference between an experiment that is A, precise, and B, reproducible? So some really hard questions today. Good luck.